Hello, xin chào, this is Bon Ho again. Nice seeing you all back here with me. And today I'm going to share with you, today I'm going to share with you a great resource so you can have a better understanding and communicate with your Vietnamese lady, which will show that you are listening and truly care for her and the relationship that you are building with her. But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating and marrying a Vietnamese woman? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. Before I get started, let me share with you a couple quick reminders. For those of you who are already watching and subscribed to our channel, you know what they are. But for those um, who are new to our channel, I would still want to remind you that we, Alex and I and our team, we are building this channel with our best intention to give you the most useful and truthful information that we have known, learned from being a Vietnamese, especially for me as a Vietnamese uh, woman, and also from my Vietnamese friend and a lot of other Vietnamese ladies that I have been uh, interact to, talk to, and learn from. Uh, we also understand that you may have a different perspective and a different personal experience. And we would love to hear from you, but if you do, do it respectfully and constructively so we can build this as a community, as a healthy um, community where you can come in, everybody come in and share and learn from each other. We appreciate when you do that. And then the second thing I would like to remind you is that you have the past and for most of our viewers of right now, uh, you are mature enough so you must be in, in a several relationships already and I know for sure for the fact that you, uh, majority of you already uh, may have some uh, bad past experience, uh, experiences or uh, negative emotions for your uh, former relationships. But if you think this is the time for you to start to have a new, a long-lasting relationship or even a marriage with a Vietnamese lady again, then please make sure that you leave no uh, negative emotion behind and start fresh and do your best to stay positive and treat her as an equal and respect the lady, okay? Thank you. Today I'm going to share with you one of the best and the most affordable resources that you can invest to improve your relationship and deepen your love with the Vietnamese. This book called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. This is an amazing book that helped Alex and I improve our communication skill and how to express ourselves during our relationship for the last four or five years to improve our relationship. In this book, it discusses the danger of being in love that comes from falling in love and how to make love that lasts. To make your love, your relationship and the love last, the book shared that there are five different ways the person wants to be, be appreciated and loved. These five ways are known as love languages. And it's very cri critical that you know the love language of the person, of your Vietnamese lady in this case. Because if you're getting it wrong, I can see that it's really easy for the other party to think that you don't appreciate them, you don't really truly care for them and their feeling. But in reality, it's just that you guys have a different love languages. Gary Chapman has shared in this book the five languages. The five love languages are words of affirmation, two acts of service, three receiving gifts for quality times and the last one the fifth one is physical touch in this video i'm just going to share with you in general what they are 
and please check out uh, the, my other videos because I'm going to go further, deeper uh, and deeper into each of the love language for you uh, later on. Okay? Uh, for number one, words of affirmation. So if your lady, if your lady's love language is words of affirmation, she would refer you to compliment her, to talk to her and to comfort her by words. So, for example, they would like you to, uh, would love to hear that you say that she's special, she's, uh, she's pretty, she's caring, uh, how does she look, um, she looks good, and encourage her, support her by words. Yeah, but if you tend to keep giving her gifts and uh, physical gifts all the time to show how much you care and love her, then she must be she may turn out to be a little upset because she would think that oh he doesn't care he used money to buy my, uh, my passion my connection with him so just be careful on that and then of course in this case I just want to know I just want you to know a like, majority of women definitely would love to be given gifts you know really powerful gifts that I share um, with you from my others previous videos so if you have not watched those please check the uh, playlist the different playlists and, and watch those so you can have more details on uh, what specifically uh, which physical gifts should you give to her okay but um but definitely if she's really her love language is is about words of affirmation then it's really really important that you compliment her, you uh, share your emotions with her, your feeling with her feelings, your feelings toward her. If your lady's love language is an act of service, then she would prefer that you help her around the house towards, such as washing dishes if she cook, uh, cleaning the house once, in a, uh, once a week, you know, participate in like your daily life activities. Uh, you can iron her clothes sometimes and you know wash her offer to wash her car you can do laundry you know divide it both chores and um, open the, the open the door for her when you walk into a restaurant or a shop or any shop uh, open the car door for her so she really really uh, for those ladies who uh, love language is acts of service then she really gonna appreciate it and you gonna score a really high score to impress her and the third love language is receiving gifts so if your lady's love language is in this third category then make sure that when you on uh, when you first get to know her on the days make sure that you give her some small gifts you know candies flowers you know something small something uh, thoughtful something meaningful or something that you can do it by yourself it doesn't have to be expensive gifts though okay um, and one thing I want to um, for you to remember which is that make sure that you don't give too don't give too expensive gift for the first few days because if she asks if you voluntarily give it to her it's a different story but if she asks you for those expensive gifts then you better watch out okay you may be dealing with someone who would like to scam you so be careful. The fourth love language that I want to share here is quality time. Her main love language is about quality time, which means that she wants to spend time with you. And when you are with her, make sure that you are 100% there. Be present. So for example, if you say, oh, let's have a uh, love cook at home and have a dinner, have a date at home and watching TV, watching movie, or you know, uh, she loves, both of you love travel, uh, love dancing, working out together and uh, really listen to her, really pay attention to her, to the conversation that she has with you during those times, okay? 
And last but not least is the fifth love language, which is physical touch. Yes, uh, a lot of ladies may, especially Vietnamese ladies in my generations and a little bit younger, we may be uh, because we were taught and believe that we shouldn't show PDA, you know, in public too much. And even now in Vietnam, uh, you know, it's still somewhat as a big, it's still somewhat as a big belief that you should not do that in public. So, but if it's her love language, then she would love you to hug her, hold hands, kissing, kissing her, or receiving, you know, massages. And by you, right? By you, definitely. So, before I end it here, I just want to also remind you real quick that in this in this book, Gary mentioned has mentioned that you can have multiple love languages, but there's always a pri primary one, and there will be one or two more as a minor one. So really make sure that when you get to know a lady, uh, even if you are in a serious relationship right now, or even a mar even if you are married to a Vietnamese lady now, make sure that you read this book. Highly, highly recommend. And make sure that you pay attention or you ask her to take a test because at the end of the book, there's a, 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 a section that he gives out for the readers to take a test, a really quick test. So you know what is your primary love language is and then maybe you have one or two or three minor love languages okay and so do that it will definitely help you a lot and as another tip you know it just just as uh, 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 the last tip i want to share with you is not just helping you on your love relationship but also helping you is with uh, this book if you read through a few times you actually will be able to improve in your job, in your business, in your relationship with your family, even with your family, with your loved ones, with your uh, friends, with your business partners, uh, with your uh, working team, because that's when you know exactly who uh, their primary la uh, language of love and you know how to communicate with them more meaningfully, more effectively, and of course, you know, when you know the primary language, you will be much more happy and feel like, uh, and feel that they are, that you appreciate them, that you pay attention to them, uh, that you truly care. Okay, so why not, right? Okay, so that's all I have like to share with you, uh, with you in this video. And again, I would love, we would love to hear from you. So please share with us any of your personal experiences or perspectives with regard to this um, topic. And if you have read the book, please put it in the comment section down below to share with our uh, viewers, with other viewers, um, uh, how this book has helped your relationship uh, in general. Okay? Okay. And um, and once again, this is Van Ho from Mary, a Vietnamese woman. Um, and thank you so much once again. Thanks for your time, for your comment, for your sharing. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much once again. Come on. Xin chào tạm biệt. Bye bye for now.